This video will show you how to use a UV-Vis spectrophotometer. Ultraviolet visible spectroscopy tells us about electronic transitions in atoms and molecules. The spectra are produced when electrons in molecules or atoms move from one electronic energy level to another of higher energy. In doing so, they absorb energy equal to the gap between the two levels. Compounds that absorb in the visible regions such as sun transition metal compounds and organic dyes are colored. Those that absorb only in the ultraviolet region are, are colorless. The Lambda 350 UV Viz spectrometer features a reflecting optical system and the components are coated with silica for durability. A holograph grating is used in the monochromator. The monochromator has a concave grating that goes to various wavelengths. Two radiation sources are used, a deuterium lamp and a halogen lamp, and it goes through the wavelengths of the spectrum. The radiation is light and radiant heat, which is produced from the deuterium and tungsten lamps, which are the light sources. The chopper switches between the sample and the reference beam, so it's an alternating process which allows for greater accuracy and measurement of your sample. Later in this video, we will, actu we will see an actual demonstration of a sample being put in the spectrometer for analysis. This is a double beam UV visible spectrophotometer in the laboratory. The on and off switch of the instrument is located in the back. This is a Perkin Elmer Lambda 35 UV visible spectrophotometer. These are all the apparatus that you will need for the setup. A solvent vial, a waste beaker, a pair of glass cuvettes, and a volumetric flask containing your solution. The sample will be placed in a cuvette for measurements. There are three types of cuvettes, plastic, glass, and quartz. A common feature of all these cuvettes is that each one has two opaque opposite sides and two opposite transparent sides. You will hold the cuvettes by the two opaque sides. The transparent sides are meant for the pathway of the UV visible light. There are two cuvette holders. The one in the back is for the blank solution and the one in the front is for the sample. To conduct the scan, we will need a pair of cuvettes. For the first run, we have to do a blank solution scan. We have to rinse the cuvettes with a solvent at least two times. The solvent is usually used as a blank. Uh, use skin wipes to clean the transparent sides of the cuvette. We have to make sure there are no fingerprints, grease, and droplets in the transparent sides of the cuvette. The sample cuvette containing the solution must be rinsed at least two times with the solution. And then the cuvette must be filled at least three quarters of its height with the solution. Clean the transparent sides with chem wipes and then place it in the sample holder. Insert the cuvette in the way that the transparent side are in the east-west direction. The wavelength range required and the scanning speed must be programmed in the computer that controls the instrument. The spectrum appears on the screen and the data is saved in the computer. The horizontal axis is the wavelength and the vertical one is the absorbance, which is a measure of the amount of light absorbed by the sample. Try to ensure that the concentration of the solution is not too strong so the peak doesn't go above the graph or too weak that there is no peak. The example shown here is about perfect. 
Once the data acquisition is finished, add labels using the program, like the height of the beak and the substance name. 